Hello, this is a video about getting this to run this. So what I've got here is uh, Tomb Raider, the original game, it's a re-release, it's the sold out release from mid-2000s. I've had this about 10 years, more than 10 years. And we've got the actual disc there. Now getting this to run on Windows 10, physical CD and I've got an optical drive on my machine. Tomb Raider PC CD ROM. PC. 2012 Ivy Bridge, third generation, i series, with optical drive. Switch to um, screen recorder mode in a little bit. There it is. Hello, this is me, Johnny Jane, uh, and I thought I'd do a video about installing Tomb Raider 1 on Windows 10. Now, Windows 10 doesn't run DOS games, and Tomb Raider 1 PC, the PC version, is a DOS game. When I tried installing it to run it on DOS, and I ran into a number of problems, so I thought if anyone else has got the sold out software CD ROM version, and you want to run it on Windows 10 under a emulator like DOSBox, you're going to hit a number of problems. So I've got it here and it basically won't do anything. You get this thing here and you go install game and basically gives me this error. Setup MM V.4 has stopped working and basically nothing works properly and what it should do is when you normally install it it goes into a kind of a DOS mode even on Windows XP it does this and it kind of installs it to where you want to put it. Now I'm going to do DOS box and what I've got here is a folder called DOS ROM and that's where I put all my DOS games and that's the one you mount. You mount this folder and that is what uh, MS-DOS or DOSBox sees as an actual partition that you're going to install and run all your games off. Now I've already installed it here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uninstall this and then I'm going to reinstall the game again so uh, let me just take my save games because I reckon I can reload them. Let's just cut them out of there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that and I'm going to delete that, okay. So if you want to install, let it do that, right. So if you want to install it on here, what you've got to do is I've got DOSBox and you run it on here. Now to get the CD-ROM drive to, let's get my Windows straight here on a minute. Right, so to do the CD-ROM thing, what you got to do is you go into, if you want to set this up in DOSBox, options, and what you get is you need to put this, and it, if you've got a if you've got a machine with no CD-ROM drive, this isn't going to work. So you can I don't know if it works with USB add-in drives. If you're talking about like a totally modern i9 or a fourth gen, is it fourth gen i uh, Ryzen or whatever? This I don't know if this is going to work with an add-in USB three drive Blu-ray. I don't know, but I've got a Dell Vos drive from 2012, which is a third gen i series Ivy Bridge, and that has a drive and it's and it's J. So basically you put that the letter twice of whatever the drive name is and then you put that there and then you press enter and then you save that and anything you change here will automatically affect the DOS box. So what that's done there that's mounted that and then I've got to remember how to do this now. You have to mount That's the folder with my DOS games in it. 
Now don't go to the folder yet. Type in J and then go directory. And that's my you can't hear my CD ROM kick up. And where it says install.exe, just type install. And what it'll do is it'll do what Windows 10 is incapable of doing, which is running this thing here, and you go install. I had a bit of trouble with my audio, and I think it was because the um, settings on Windows 10 had the audio so muted, and I didn't know it did, it did that, so it was a bit annoying. So we go, no sound card, sound blaster, 221, this is the settings, I think it's 7. If I can hear it, it should go. Right, let's go adventuring. That should work, and go continue, save settings, and then install. This is the bit that just doesn't work on Windows 10. So then what I've got to do is go back to... Um, run directory. What this does is it opens the folder. So if I go... Let me go back to... Where's my thing at? DOS-ROM. It should be... There it is. It says here, Tomb Raid, and that wasn't there before. And then it's basically got this file, all these files here. And this is what you try running it actually on here, it won't actually do it. It'll go, can't run this app on your PC. It's not an app, it's a bloody game. Uh, it calls things apps, that annoys me. Anyway, if we go directory and it's there, and I type tomb, it should run it within DOSBox. I've got a physical CD ROM drive going on here, so, so there's a bit of a lag, slightly laggy on occasion, which is normal. Trap my bloody mouse. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I've got to get out of here. Hold on a minute. It always traps my mouse, and I can't really get out of it without using the. Get out of a bit, okay. What happens here is. There we are. It was running a little bit. Um, I think maybe I was using the uh, the version of DOSBox which allows you to use Voodoo graphics and stuff. But um, what are we doing? New game and see if we can run it. I had a problem because I left my um, gamepad plugged in and it confused it. Got this lined thing going on. So there's the that's the classic intro. This you gotta just press these funny keys. There's a thing where you can make the screen bigger or smaller. Which one is it? Is it that one? Yeah, because it does a thing where it makes it really chunky for four eight. Is it four eight six? I'm not sure if it runs on four eight six. It can, but it's really kind of dodgy if you do that. So there's the game there. This version has no music in a lot of the levels. The actual in-game music is missing, and that's to do with the sold-out software's version. I don't know why they did that. But you can download all the bits and pieces to make it work. But 
normally if you're running on this on Windows 98, which I've actually got a Windows 98 uh, Pentium 3 system, you, when you install it with the installer, you just click on the two folder and then you load the actual executable and it just runs. Whereas this, of course, Windows 10 won't do that. And you have to install it through DOSBox, which is the problem. I, I thought it would just do what it did on XP, which is close to the original um, way it would work, which is you just click on the thing and it just does it, but it, it doesn't accept the installer from the actual CD-ROM, which is like really annoying. I think it would just work with that, but it doesn't. So yeah, it's running pretty well without any major issues. This is the standard iteration because there's uh, on the CD-ROM, which I'll show in a little while, you can install 3DFX versions. So I can't get the Voodoo ones working, but you have to use a special version of DOSBox or DOSX. And what it does is it allows you to run 3D. The, the, it it reskins it. There's a, there's a number of different versions they released for people who had Voodoo cards and 3DFX cards, which looks a lot better than this. So, can never get on here. Oh, what are you doing? She does that little <laughs> jump thing. I know this obviously doesn't work under Windows 10 without DOSBox because it's a DOS game, and but it was the installer that kind of got me thinking. Well, hang on a minute. How are you supposed to run it then? If you can't run the installer, there's probably tools you could get off the internet that might make it possible. And there's GOG versions you can download, you have to pay for them. This one I paid for this game 2006, I think it was about £3. I bought the first game, uh, I think it was Tomb Raider Revelations and Chronicles for about £10 total in town years ago. Brand new, they weren't second hand. So this is an actual one I paid for. I played the um, PlayStation versions of uh, Anniversary, Underworld. But under Windows 98 on my Pentium 3, sometimes when you go to when you finish a level and it reloads, it often crashes it out or locks the machine up. And because Windows 98 hasn't got a task manager the way Windows 2000 and later has, it's I have to turn the machine off and back on again because I can never get it to come back on or come back to normal because it just locks it. And that might be something to do with the CD-ROM drive. I don't know if this would all work if you were using a modern machine that doesn't have a CD ROM as standard. I don't know if it would work on a USB. If you're running it off a CD, of course, I mean, there might be ways you could get hold of the original game. I've never actually tried getting this version that's not on a CD ROM. I don't know how that would work because I never was able to do a, a no CD crack on it which I've done with all my other games where you take it off the CD because the game runs off the drive and it causes a lag and then the drive really goes crazy and it can be quite noisy and annoying it could damage the disc if it's running full whack in a really fast drive so I never managed to get it to come off the CD but there might be tools that you could use I suppose I won't go too much further it's just this section here I wanted to look at so that's the Standard version of Tomb Raider, PC version uh, in the DOS DOS box, running it off the hard drive on the Windows 10, which won't accept the installer. <laughs> 